but um, we're doing core for climbing. So we are gonna work on the majority of our abs with a little bit of arm and back too. Um, and we're gonna do a few stretches beforehand. Um, so are we ready to get started? Does anyone have any um, issues that we need to focus on before we get started? All good? Cool. Oh, all right, simple breathing as we get stretched and warmed up. So I want arms up and big breath in as our arms go up as high as you can. Even if it's low, that's fine. And if you can't get up your arms, try to just lift up your shoulders a little bit. So big breath in and back out. We're gonna do this one 10 times. So go at your own pace in out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. I've lost count. I think we're somewhere near the end, right? Let's say that's nine. <laughs> and 10. Six. So that was six? Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to call it 10. <laughs> we're going to call it good. Um, all right. So we're going to do some side reaches over our head. Um, so kind of like a little ballerina. You can choose which arm you want to start with. We're going to bend over. If you've got any kind of stability issues, you can put your hand under your hip if you're seated just to keep yourself stable. We're going to reach and we're going to count to 10. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Switch that out and next side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Cool. I don't know about you, but I feel that all in my sides and my oblique feels great. All right, so that's the static version. We're now going to do a, the same thing, but what's called dynamic stretching. So it means that we're going to keep moving as we're doing it. Um, so we're going to do 10 bounces, that same arm overhead, and we're going to just reach just a little bit and kind of do a little bounce. I want you to stay controlled. We're going to do 10 of those. I don't know what I'm on, but let's say that's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So yeah, if you guys are feeling it right, you're gonna feel it all along those sides here. All right, next side, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. I like to do a little shoulder roll afterwards, shake it out for myself. Okay. All right. And ooh, we are going to now do uh, so just some simple fold downs. So, as far as you can go, um, we're going to hook our arms under our legs if you can, or just fold your legs. It's just for stability. We're going to go down as far as we can. And we're just going to hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back up. So that should be stretching that lower back for us. And that's our static version. We're now going to do the dynamic version. Once again, either fold the top of your legs or underneath your leg just for some stability while we're doing this. Um, if you feel like you're falling forward and losing control, that's not gonna be stretching you at all and that's just gonna be hurting. So make sure that we're doing some controlled movements when we're doing this. We're gonna go down and back up as far as we can. We're gonna do 10. So one, two, Three, 
four, keeping that back as straight as we can. We don't want any hunchback. Five. I think I lost count again, but we're gonna keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Awesome. Okay. Last stretch before we get started is we're going to do some twisting. We're going to keep working on those abdominals and obliques. So all we're going to do is twist as much of our core as we can. And to help with that, um, some people like to hold their waist to twist. Others like to reach out as far as they can and twist. Either one is fine. Just try not to hyperextend that shoulder because really the exercise we're trying to get down here. So we're going to do a dynamic the whole time. So we're going to keep moving. We're gonna go back and forth, nice and slow and controlled. And we're gonna do 10 on each side. So it'll be a 20 count all together. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. All right. Are we feeling stretched and ready to work? Yeah. Okay. So the majority of, I think I already said this to Paul, but Danica, you popped on after I said it. Uh, majority of what we're doing today is some floor work. Uh, Danica, I think you, can you do some floor work or do you prefer to see it sit? Yeah. Okay. Perfect, all right. Um, all right, so uh, Jeremiah, I'll make sure I give you some adaptations and at any point, Danica, if you need some seated adaptations, I'll do that as well. Um, so for our sets, we're gonna do the same as always with Craig, it's four sets, sorry, I think I just can't see my fingers, four sets um, of five different, ex sorry, four different exercises. Sorry, I was gonna give you one more. Um, so we're gonna do our front planks for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do V-ups, which I think all of you have worked with Craig, so we all know what V-ups are, but I will obviously do them with you. Then we're gonna do crunches, and then we're gonna do leg raises. What was the one you said before that? I haven't done any of these exercises. This really? Okay, awesome. Things. Okay, so I'll show them to you when I get down onto the floor. Um, but the first- stay on the floor like, the whole time, or am I, got to stay on the floor the whole, do I have to stay on the floor the whole time, or? Um, you don't have to. If you need to do seated, there I have some adaptations for seated as well, but the majority of these are laying on the floor the whole time. Okay, so maybe I'll just stick on the floor. Okay. I'm going to move myself to the floor. Get that chair out of the way. Okay, so for planks, since Paul hasn't seen a plank before, what we do is we get onto our belly and we have our forearms bent just underneath us and our toes. I don't know if you guys can see that. My chin is <laughs> Our toes are on the floor and you can either choose to lift up off of your forearms, which is my preferred method. Some people like to do a push up position. Um, that's really kind of your preference on your comfort for your arms. Uh, so for either one of those, we're gonna try and hold it for 30 seconds. And when we're lifting ourselves, we don't want our back to be arched really far like that. We don't want it to cow either, or cat and cows. We want it as straight as we can. And it's kind of hard with the angle of this camera to see that my back will be straight, but we're gonna give it a go. And are we ready? We're gonna do, try and do 30 seconds. If 30 seconds is too long, you can take a little break and then try and get yourself back up, but see how hard you can push yourself to go longer. All right, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30. And bring it down. Ooh. How do we do on that one? <laughs> we make it the full 30? Awesome. Okay, next is our V ups. So V ups are on our back. Legs are straight, arms are straight. You're going to bring our legs to our arms to the best of our abilities. Craig is way better at this than I am. He is insanely fit. But we are gonna do 10 V ups. So when you're ready at your pace, go ahead and start. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. Good, Danica, I like that adaptation. That was great, lifting those knees up to your chest. Perfect. Okay, next one is crunches. So you've, I'm sure you've seen crunches a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of people do the full lift all the way up. Um, and that actually can strain a lot of people's backs because they're not doing it properly. So we prefer to do really small crunches. That way it's localized on our lower abs. So when we're lifting our shoulder blades, I just want your shoulder blades just off of the table and then we're gonna bring it back down. So we're gonna do 10 knees bent and 10 crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. All right, last thing, leg raises. So that is just laying on the floor, arms are down. Some people like to put them under their glutes to help with their tailbone, which what I'm gonna do because I have a broken tailbone, it doesn't feel too good. And all we're gonna do is lift it about six inches off the ground and bring them back down together. So when you're ready, we're doing 10 of these as well. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Woo. Okay. Love the adaptation, Danica. Yes, take care of yourself. All right. As usual, we're going to take a two minute break between sets. So finish up this last one at your own leisure, and then grab some water, and then we're gonna do all of those over again. Pause it all, that makes sense? Yeah? Okay. Ooh. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nicole showed me those adaptations because I couldn't do the class, so mm. I was having a really hard time, and so I, Nicole showed me, um, how to modify Craig's exercises Perfect. to target the right the right area because I'm really not um, at the level mm -hmm. yet where <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's not a lot of people at Craig's level <laughs> yeah he's super strong like he does it and it looks like it's super easy and I'm yeah. like I can barely breathe yeah so, yeah. Um, yeah she but Nicole was great like she modified the whole set of Craig's exercises so that I could do them especially those v-ups I that's actually pretty good like for those v-ups because I've been practicing those like a lot awesome because they're really they were really hard I couldn't in the beginning I couldn't I could only like move my knees a couple of inches so mm -hmm. and I and I couldn't feel it but that's where I first felt my core muscles like on that v-up exercise it was great good I mean, yeah. honestly, that's it. I know it's hard, but when you can feel those things working, you know you're doing it right. Yeah, I never felt it before. It's, it's funny because I stopped, I, I asked Craig, I was like, at the end of the set, I was like, okay, is this what I'm feeling? Is this the right spot? Is this, what is this? He's like, those are your core muscles. I was like, oh my God, I felt them. <laughs> uh, love it. You know, actually, I actually think I'm going to try and bring, let's try and bring that down to a lower level. 
works. All right, Jeremiah, you're back. So for seated adaptation uh, for our plank, I want you to try and do some stomach crunches, all right? So really actively trying to engage those core muscles. You're gonna do some seated crunches as low as you can go for the entire 30 seconds that we are doing our plank. And it is that time again. So let's get into a position. You've lost Danica, but that's all right. All right, and we're going up in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! Those planks are hard. Next is our V up, so onto our back. For our seated folks, I want you to do a torso twist. And I want you to really focus on a controlled, slow twist as far over as you can. And then control, slow twist to the other side. Really pushing in those ab muscles. Um, if you want to try and do some weights or resistance band to kind of help with that twist, you can. All right, 10. V ups, 10 torso twists, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. Woo, those feel good, right? Starting to get that sheen going on the forehead. Sweet. Okay. Now our 10 crunches. Remember, I don't want these fast. I want them nice and slow and controlled. Um, seated. I'm going to have you do some arm raises. Do you have any weights, Jeremiah? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, put your resistance band. under your armpit, and I want you to do arm raises like this, all right? Okay, you guys are already beating me on the crunches, I gotta get mine in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, last thing is our leg raises. Let's get it going. So if you want those hands under your glutes. Jeremiah, you are doing arm, arm push-ups if you can. I'm not sure how much arm strength you have. Do you have the ability to kind of push yourself up off of the chair a little bit? Yeah, okay, awesome. So why don't you try and do 30 seconds of that, lifting up as high as you can and try and hover yourself as much as you can off of that chair. All right, 30. Sorry, 10 leg raises in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Great. All right. Take that two minute break. Grab that water. Shake it out. We are halfway done with exercises. Everyone still feeling good? Awesome. I keep telling you guys to drink, but I forgot my own water bottle. So I'm going to suffer through this one. For those watching on YouTube, make sure you have your water bottle. <sighs> All right, 60 seconds left. Ooh. Rotate around myself. 
Getting in the mermaid position. Ooh, all right, 20 seconds. Start getting yourselves ready. All right, remember seated adaptation. We're doing those stomach crunches. The rest of us on our bellies, we're doing 30 seconds. All right, let's do it in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Woo. Awesome job. I was looking down. Did anyone make it the whole time? Yes. Love to hear it. Okay, switching on to that back. We've got our V ups for those in supine position. For those seated, we're doing those torso twists. All right. And three, two, one. Ten V ups. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Man, I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely feel those. They love to burn. Those tummy muscles. Whew, okay, crunches and then leg raises. Crunches for our supine folks. For our folks seated, we are doing arm raises. Yeah, so get those either around your neck or under your armpits and you're pushing up. And crunches, let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hopefully, you guys are really feeling it in those crunches. We don't like to go fast because that means we don't have control. If we're going fast with our crunches, it usually means that you're just using your body's momentum to swing. So, when we're doing our crunches, and I'll remind you guys on our last run, we really want to do a slow raise really actively engage in those belly muscles when we're doing it. Ooh, all right, leg raises, 10. Why do I keep forgetting what our seated folks are doing? I am sorry, arm, oh, I switched you up. It was arm push-ups. Uh, oh no, just kidding, Jeremiah. All right, you remember arm push-ups, you're pushing up off that chair. The rest of us are doing leg raises. Get in position, straight legs. Remember, six inches off the floor. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, awesome. Take your time on those. There is no rush. We all go at our own speeds. I'd rather you guys go slower than faster because that really means you're engaging those muscles and having control. Oh, all right, last break, two minutes. Drink that water and we're on to our last set. When we're laying down, is anyone having any kind of pressure points that are hurting on your backs at all? Is everyone feeling okay there? I know Danica's got the fancy bed. <laughs> Paul's good, okay. Awesome. That is something we want, I guess my head's cut off. It is something we want to be aware of when we're doing those exercises, especially when pushing onto a hard floor, um, is just making sure if you feel any hot spots, those pressure in either your back or your elbow, just kind of keeping an eye on that because as we get older, our skin starts to deteriorate a little bit more and we don't want to have pressure sores or anything like that for anyone. So 
Gotta make sure we're, we're safe and healthy. Whew. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Start making your way into our plank position. All right, last one. If you haven't made it the full 30 seconds, try and get the full 30 this time. This is your last one for today with me. So give it all you got. Seated folks, we're doing those stomach crunches. In three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Awesome. Okay. On to that back. Safely transition yourself one way or another. Roll it, hold it, however you want to get over. Awesome, okay. V ups or torso twists. Oh, these are the hardest ones for me. I'm sure they are for you too. Let's push through it. Almost there. And starting. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, turn. Woo! All right. Moving from B ups to crunches. And we are doing. Oh, all right, the raise is over at your head of our seated folks. Almost there, guys, two more. Okay, remember what I said about our crunches. Nice and slow and controlled, making sure that it's not just your head going up, but it's your whole shoulder blades off of the floor, nice and controlled. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Wait, last thing before our final stretches those leg raises for our seated folks. You're doing arm push ups. See if you can keep yourself up the entire time we're doing those 10 leg raises. If not, that's fine. Do some push-ups up and down off of that chair. All right, getting those arms in position to protect that tailbone. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right. <laughs> awesome job. We are going to do the same stretches that we did for our warm up for our cool down. You can either stand or sit for this. Get nice and comfortable. All right, we're gonna do our big breaths. Yeah, Nana, come on up. Good question. Uh, I'm out of breath though, sorry. Um, <laughs> You're good, I am too. <laughs> that, uh, on the crunches, you know how you were saying to lift your shoulder blade off, or shoulder, well, how much are you lifting up? Because I can only like get like a little piece of my shoulder up. Uh -huh. um, I noticed when you said like to pay attention to it, like to go more slowly that I was using momentum, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much do you actually get off the floor when you're when you're doing those crunches? Like my shoulder, yeah. like my shoulder, the scapula thing, right? My shoulder goes off like really low. 
But do you it's just, just it's gonna depend on a few different factors. One, how big your scapula are, <laughs> and then also how strong your stomach muscles are and those abs. Um, mine usually, I think, and you can check me right now, um, just barely come off the floor. One of the biggest things I focus on is when people crunch, you'll see a lot of them actually try and tuck their chin to their chest, okay. and that strains your neck and uses your neck muscles more than your abs. And so I like to look towards the sky and then I check my neck with my fingers. That's why I do this. It's not because it helps with my abs at all. It's to check that I'm not straining my neck muscles as I'm going. Oh, okay. So when I'm doing my crunches, not quite low enough. So I'm gonna lift up and try not to move my neck too much. I'm trying to move those abs, but my head is definitely going up, not in. Okay. I lift. I'm up. So yeah, it's just the point. Sorry, it's hard to see when there's carpet in a, a t-shirt. It is just the point of my scapula that's touching the carpet, but it's really, it's going to vary for everyone on how much you're going. My suggestion for it is just as long as you're feeling your core engaged and you're not feeling your neck straining um, or any of your other body parts straining instead, then that's the perfect type for you. Yeah, I was feeling my neck strained. Like I yeah. can, like it's really straining. So look, so look up instead of looking forward. Yep. And then if you can, try and use your fingertips because it's just easy to feel. The second you tighten your neck muscles, your fingers can feel it because your neck muscles are so close to that skin surface. And so it's really just kind of a check for myself to be like, right, Gwen, like you're going up, but now you're lifting yourself with your neck. Like okay. focus on that core. Okay, that's really yeah. helpful. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I always feel it in my neck, and I'm I have a sore neck after I do crunches, and I'm like, what can I do to like make this stop? <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it's such a common is a common thing, and just kind of being aware of it is number one, and then just kind of checking yourself number two, and trying to just relax your head, make it like a, a mental note as you're crunching, be like, okay, I'm gonna relax my head, focus on that ab, and go. And sometimes you gotta talk to yourself. I do it all the time, <laughs> and it really helps me. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's get some breathing in. I don't know about you guys, but I was a little bit out of breath on that one. We're going to do that big breath in. And exhale out. All right. Do it 10 times on your own count. In. Guys, I'm horrible about counting. What number are we on? Something, we're on something. Let's call that eight. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Okay. All right. I think we're, I think we're on seven. We're on seven that time. Should we do three more? Let's do three more to make Jeremiah happy. In. All right, Jeremiah, you're going to be my designated counter from here on out. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that side reach over. You can choose left or right. We're going to just hold it. That's our dynamic stretch. I'm sorry, static stretch. I'm mixing them up now. We're going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling it here, right here on the sides. If you're feeling it in your neck, play the loosey goosey game. All right, 10. Next side, over, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, we're going to do the dynamic now, that same thing. Nice and controlled, going off to the side and we're doing light bobs, not huge ones, don't fly over. Nice and controlled, stretching out. I'm even feeling it up here in my triceps a little bit, in my shoulder. Jeremiah, what bounce am I on? <laughs> All 
I'm, so am I just gonna keep going? I'm gonna call that 10. Let me call that 10, yeah? <laughs> well, we are good. Okay, all right, next side. And going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not good at the whole multitasking thing. Counting and talking, not my skill set. Okay, we've done that. Uh, we're gonna do our fold downs and then our twists and we'll be all done. So we're gonna just kind of take a deep breath in and then fold down nice and controlled. If you're not feeling a stretch in your back, you can also reach out as far as you can. So kind of like a Superman look and go out. I feel it just leaning forward myself because that's because I'm just a little tight. Let's hold that as far as you can forward while staying stable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly bring that up. All right, I'm realizing I'm so close to the camera. Okay, and then our dynamic, we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna bounce forward. And we're just going to go down a little bit. It's hard to do when I'm on the floor here. But bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yes. I definitely feel that in the lower back. Do you? Right in there, feels so good. All right, last thing is those side twists. We did a bit right in here today. So what I want us to do is to do those side twists. We're gonna do nice and slow and controlled. It's a stretch, it's not another workout. We're just gonna go back and forth, 10 on each side, so it's 20 all together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, remember to twist that torso, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also grab your waist to do it, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, give a little shake out. All right, folks, that is it for today's climb, or four for climbing. How y'all feel? 